Welcome to my channel Accounting Notes. Would you like to learn how to do check row in Symex? If yes, let's watch the video. First step is to sign into Symex and you would see this toolbar when you sign into the Symex software. Next, when you put your cursor on the vendor, you will see a list and on the list you need to go to payments so click payments you will see the following window when you click payments next step is to go to activities and click the payment generation you will see this following window when you click payment generation in order to do update you'll have to do edit on the toolbar and go to update click update in this window we need to update the fields in order to check one first it says payment date this is the date you are physically on which will be today's date whenever the date you are doing the check run. Next it says payment type. This will you would leave default to SMW which means you want to include everything in the check run. Next is the starting bank code which means you need to enter the bank code you want to run the checks from. And then there's an ending bank code, which is the same code that you would enter in the starting one. For the starting and ending one, you would leave it blank, which means it will include all the vendors that are due. But if you need to do check for just one vendor, just enter the vendor number in the starting box and enter the same vendor number in the starting ending box if you do one check. But if you want to do multiple checks, then you will leave these fields blank next it says aging basis uh, we should always choose d which is due next it says starting age date always leave the, this as blank and for the ending age date you need to choose two weeks from the check run date so if your run date is today's date um, two weeks ahead would be the ending aging date it says include commissions due choose no and discount method it's always best to use a as the option which means all um, discount and for delete payments or distributions choose no leave it as default when you have everything entered next step is to go to the edit on the toolbar and click on the process you will see a pop-up which says accounts payable payment generation will be performed click ok when the um, check um, run is getting performed you will see the following three errors. I listed all three, but it will usually appear one by one. The first one would be vendor is in hold. When you see this error, it means um, you or someone else has put the vendor on hold, so you can click OK. Or you could have another error which would say the check amount is zero, which and you can still click OK. And the third error would be the check amount is like it's a credit. I have shown a minus fifty dollars. It can be different for everyone. Uh, this is just an example. So when you see the um, check amount is as a credit, obviously there would be no check. So just click OK. In all these three errors is, is common. So just click OK. When your payment um, has been uh, performed, you would see this success box popped up. Normally in this box, you will have the number of payment distribution created. Uh, this is blank for now because this is just a demo. And this box also will have number. It has a number and then it says accounts where payments were created. You have to click OK. 
Next step is to view payments. So go in the view, which is on the toolbar and click payments. Normally you will see like different payments. Each vendor will be displayed in this window. Basically you would just because this is a demo, it has all the blanks, but you can click uh, control plus down or up arrow key to view payments for different vendors. So there's an example of there's going to be a vendor number here, a bank code that you choose chose earlier. This would say check, then there will be a check number and then the check amount. If for some reason you decide you don't want to pay the vendor that on the screen or by clicking control and um, down or up arrow you see multiple vendors if you don't want to pay the um, specific vendor you can delete that check before even printing it so you go to add it and then you click um, delete and then you will see this uh, window popped up which will say delete will be performed so you would it also would say accounts payable payment that has vendor here there would be a vendor number i have left blank because this is a demo and then bank code there would be a bank code that you have selected earlier and will be removed it just means that the check will be deleted um, in the system before even printing it click ok So now that you have you're satisfied with getting the checks printed by looking at each vendor, the next step is to go to activities on the toolbar of Simex and click check printing slash posting. When you click printing slash posting, you'll see this window. What this means is that you will have to update the information on this window. So let's get started. For even before you do that, um, when you see here starting check number and this is a demo, so I just enter one, two, three, four. This means um, you need to make sure that the number on the check, that this physical check, matches the check number in SIMAC, which is here. So if your check number should say, one, two, three, four, then it means your number should be same in the Simex right here. And if it is different, you can always change it by going to add it on the toolbar and click update. And once you do, you can always go in this field and delete it. And there will be a pop-up which says that you want to delete this check number and you would say OK. And obviously you need to enter the bank code here in this field. Normally we would leave the starting vendor, ending vendor blank because you need to do for all the vendors or whatever vendors this assignment chooses or you choose it before. And the starting name and the ending name, you would normally leave it blank. If you're doing just a single check, then you can enter the starting vendor and the ending vendor number. It will be same if just doing one check. And if it says sort by, this sort by means the check number will be sorted by number. But if you want, you can change the number to the name and then the checks will be sorted by name of the vendors instead of numbers. So it's totally up to you. Display distribution detail, leave it as default of yes. Print form, there was an option of doing old dot matrix if you have that printer or leave it as new and the next three options keep it as default which is printer printer need for printer and in order to move from fields you just need to enter hit enter each time and you can go down next step is to make sure your Printers has set up with so you go to add it on toolbar and click printer setup and you basically choose the printer that you would like the preliminary check register to be printed, which is the next step. 
next tab obviously i just discussed a few seconds ago you go to edit in the toolbar and click the preliminary check register this is a report where um which gets printed and just make sure you need to review the report and once the report is reviewed you need to ensure all appropriate vendors have been selected and the discounts is right it's correct and in, if you review it you can ensure the checks that you want to be printed are selected so when the preliminary check register uh, you click that um, you click it over here edit preliminary check register a window will pop up it says preliminary check register report will be performed you just hit ok so as I discussed, just review the report to ensure all appropriate vendors are selected. If you are not satisfied and you need to delete a vendor or multiple vendors um, checks from that report, you can obviously do that again by clicking add it on the toolbar and deleting the checks each. And then re-performing the preliminary check register again. After printing the preliminary check register, there's going to be this pop up and just say hit OK. Next up is to change the printers again. And this time you need to change it to the printer that from where the checks will be printed. So you just do edit, printer setup, and change the printer. Next step is to hit add it on the toolbar again and choose print AP checks. Once you printed the checks and you have the checks physically, you have to, have to hit add it again and click printer setup and change the printer back to the normal printer that would print um, any report or anything else from. And post will be performed. And a final, you will get a printout from the printer, which, which is like um, confirmation the register has now the check posted in the system. And then after everything is printed, just hit OK, which means a post will be performed. And then it's going to be a pop up which says post was successful, just hit OK. So, did you like what you saw? If you did, subscribe to my channel to learn more and leave your comments.